And the book of Acts is going to be able to help you to understand that more. Yes. When you read it out, it hits your eardrums. Something supernatural happens because you're releasing the seed of the Word it. of God, right? Good, it. good. Right? Now, we want you to know it on a whole other dimensional level. Sure. So the book of Acts is your project, okay? Absolutely, yes. Amen. Yes. And I look forward to hearing how you become a changed person. Not just changing yourself, but how God changes other people through you, yes. and how you yeah. start that's yeah. what I mean. seeing you betcha, yeah. you betcha. Yeah. That's how I mean. God starts using you in a whole new way. You have a supernatural God. You're no longer just a supernatural. You're not just any longer a natural man. You are a supernatural man. Can that get to a supernatural God? Of course, yes. Amen. Yes. So now His power has been released in you, and I want you to pay special attention when you start reading Acts one and two, because He starts talking about that power and that witness of what it means for you to have that and what that's going to do in your life and through your life, okay? Perfect. Okay, wait, God so tell you. me what you want to accomplish in this community, bro. Uh, first of all, glory to God. And what we're going to accomplish in this community is we started a, a community, we started a uh, cleanup crew. But what we're, well, it's, it's in its, it's in its, you know, embryo stage, it's in its genesis. We've got about four or five people who go around and clean up all the streets. But what we want to do is go around to all the business owners and let them know what we're doing to rehabilitate and, and you know, remodel the Sunny Slope Mountain View neighborhood. So what could we, if people that don't live here, what can they do to help you make that happen? Anything? When you live in a community, no matter if you're a business owner or you're just a, a, a what we would call regular folk or a homeless person, mm -hmm. it takes every single person in the community to chip in to make it right. Mm -hmm. Not just the one group here, one group there. It takes everybody coming together, working together, because we live together, regardless. None of us are here by accident. We're here because God chose us to be here. So if God chose us to be here, and then you see another person across the street, 